What's up, card fighters? Clark here from Vanguard Central, coming at you with the Dimension Police deck profile. So this is mainly focusing on Metal Borgs and some of the Cosmic Hero support. <clears throat> so starting off with our starter is uh, Cosmic Hero Grand Seed. His skill is a uh, GB one. Once per turn, he, if his if this unit's power is nine thousand or more, and the Vanguard attack hits, you can draw a card. So really good pressure card comes out of nowhere sometimes, but typically you um. You want to place them off to the side in this deck because the, some of the support is really really good so continuing to our grade ones we have three cosmic hero grand gallop which is our stride fodder uh, we really like uh, three stride fodders in most decks just to make it easier so you don't have to drop so many grade threes that uh, really matter in the deck so to say um, and then four perfect guards the unflipping perfect guards, Cosmic Hero Grand Guard. Uh, really cool design, obviously, and unflipping in the deck is uh, needed because some of the cards are pretty counter blast heavy, and you always want that like that last counter blast just to make things a lot more bearable towards like later game or anything like that. Three of our M uh, MVP, Cosmic Hero Grand Chopper. I mean, I I wouldn't like change it to four. If I would, I would take out a Stride Fodder. But at three, he's pretty deadly. I mean, just getting one on the board helps out a lot already. And his skill is once per turn. Uh, if his power surpasses 11,000 or more, um, he can give plus 4,000 to two units. So you can give plus four to your Vanguard and plus four to uh, Grand Seed or our other grade two unit that's in the deck, which is a uh, Grand Sub. So. And he can, in turn, you know, it's like a huge like combo play, which is really cool. Um, shout out to Justin Eric for that. He t he ta uh, I talked to him about the deck and how it worked at Regional, so really, really cool guy. And we hope to see him at ARG Vegas. And next we have four Commander Laurels. Uh, yeah, it's, I've, I tried running him at three, and I tried doing, like, some of the Japanese meta. I mean... I just think if he's not restricted here in the States, you have to use him at four. He's a huge pain in the butt for other uh, decks. And if they're not playing a control style build like Link Joker, Kagura, or Narukami, you know, he, he's a great card to have on the board. And you just have instant advantage right there if you're able to plus off him really well. Going on to Great Twos. We have four 12k hitters, just so we don't have to rely on boosters, especially if uh, Laurel's on the field and you can't, like, restand. This becomes a 16k column right there. So it, it kind of nets advantage like that. And then four of our Legion mate. So whenever your unit legions, he gives plus four to the Vanguard. If the Vanguard hits, you get to retire units. And it's cool because you get to choose, not your opponent, which is kind of different in, in uh, this... The Cosmic Hero deck, because normally your opponent chooses what, but you know, you know, super cool Gundam design, right? And then uh, Cosmic Hero Grand Sub. So he's one of the main cards that go with the Cosmo piece, uh, combo piece of Grand Chopper and Grand Sub. So if you give plus 4,000 to um, Grand Sub, which, you know, his power becomes uh, 13k or more, so to say. Um, he can give plus 4,000 to the Vanguard, which is, like, really good if they, like, you know, try to no pass, like, two to pass you or something like that. Like, I'll explain a little more later. But then your Vanguard gets a skill. If the unit hits, your opponent has to choose a rear guard and retire it. So, like, it's, like, hidden pressure. If you have him on the rear guard, like, okay, we'll just let it hit, give power to Grand Sub, and then because I hit, it's, like, you retire units. And if you put it with, like, X Rogue and his power gets to thirty five thousand. Like it's just, it's just really cool, funny plays in a sense. And I run him at three just because there's no real reason to run him at four, un unless you're really scared of like damaging him and stuff. Um, next we have Metalborg Baron Grader. So, um, so we didn't run the Break Ride in this deck because we felt that the Metalborg name was the most important thing we wanted to have. You know, we don't uh, with the Dimensional Police. You know, it's like. If you run Dijet, you lose a lot of like rear guard consistency, especially if you don't have Laurel on the board. And Baron Grader also um, secures your Legion for one Counter Blast and one Soul Blast. And then it also gives plus three to your Legion and 
you know, it's just like, why not guarantee it? At certain points of the game, you have good options at any time. You can stride, and then you're like, oh, geez, I can't stride. Well, I'll just go for Legion, and plus like that, you know, especially with the full board and Laurel. And he's pretty decent on rear guard, you know, he gets, he gets plus two, and you can do it multiple times, especially if you fill the soul as many times if you need to. And our main boss of the deck, which is Metal Borg Sinbuster. So if his power is 22,000 or more, you get to draw a card if the attack hits. And if it's 30,000 or more, which is like super easy in this deck to accomplish, um, your opponent gets guard restriction. So who doesn't like guard restriction, especially combining that with Laurel? He gets a plus all day and net pluses, which is like super easy draw. Um, he, you know, buy the perfect guards because regardless if they spent $20 or not, they're not going to be able to use it. Like, sorry, bud. And, you know, comboing that with, like, Grand Sub or the Legion Mate and Grand Chopper, even if they, like, two to pass you. Or, like, one trigger on Grand Chopper and Grand Sub. This applies to Stride as well with um, uh, Heavy Duke, which is the main Stride in our deck. So you combo comboing that off, a two to pass becomes like was it zero? Like like one to pass? Like a two to pass becomes a one to pass or like three to pass becomes one to pass and like a two to pass becomes you passed. Which is like insane because it sneaks up on you. You don't even like realize it until it's like plus four, plus four, plus four, and you you get hit and you're just like, geez, I wasted all that shield just to get demolished. And you have a laurel Reef stand on the way, it's like that's so brutal at the end of the day. And coming on, going to our stride, I mean, the stride zone is kind of incomplete, but the deck is still competitive. Uh, we have one Blizza just for late power pushes if you don't have like enough counter blast for certain things, and then four Hyper Metal Borg Heavy Duke. So his skill is counter blast two. If you have like a metal board, if you have, um, what is it, counter blast two, your opponent is, can't guard with grade ones or higher, and if you have a metal board cart, you get to draw off it. So if you have, if your unit's in legion, you draw two. And plus with grand, you know, grand seed and stuff, you draw three. And with a laurel, restand, whatever, you hit on that, it's just like huge net plus. I've seen a metal board player go from zero, like maybe like one card in hand to 11 cards in hand in one turn because of like restanding this guy. And so, you know, the, this card's really brutal. If I were to add more to the stride zone, I would add um, two more X-Tiger and one X-Rogue just for flexibility with the deck. If you're going to stride a lot with, like, Heavy Duke and then, like, the power, um, you just, like, damn, I can't really do much. I might as well just go and hit him with crit because without crit, Heavy Duke and Sinbuster are kind of bearable. You know, you just, like... You're just going to take it to the face and be like, okay, next turn, you did all those power plays for no reason. So if you're not able to, you know, have apply pressure with Laurel and all the restanding and stuff like that, it, um, you know, it kind of is, eh, it's okay. But, um, yeah, I would add X-Tiger and X-Rogue just for, X-Rogue just as like a stall play type of deal if I don't have everything I want. And X-Tiger just to like come out of nowhere with a crit. You know, because if he gets to 45,000 or more power, he gains a critical automatically, and that's really easy to get to in the deck. All right, I hope you guys liked our dimensional poli Dimension Police uh, deck profile. We will be coming out with some more deck profiles, especially with Fighters Collection and the Aqua Force bundle. Stay tuned for that, or it should be up depending on when we upload this as profile. But if you have any comments or any questions about the deck or anything you'd like to do, you would improve um you would put in to improve the deck please let us know in the comments below don't be afraid to email us you know it's in the description and you know always like and share our videos we appreciate all the love thank you very much vanguard central out